The 2009-2010 UEFA Champions League was the 55th season of European football's premier club tournament, organized by UEFA, and the 18th in the current UEFA Champions League format. There were 76 teams from 52 UEFA associations participating. And after going through the qualifying rounds and playoffs from 30th June 2009 to 26th August 2009, finally, 32 teams managed to advance to the main round. The exciting battle began with the draw for the group stage at the Grimaldi Forum Monaco on 27 August 2009. In the group phase, 32 clubs were divided into eight groups with four clubs each. Let's take a look at the interesting results from some of these groups. Group A Bordeaux led with almost perfect points while Bayern Munich advanced to the knockout stages. Group B Manchester United and CSKA Moscow managed to win tickets to the knockout rounds. Group C Real Madrid and AC Milan appeared strong and succeeded in moving to the next phase. Group D Chelsea and Porto showed their dominance to advance to the knockout stages. Group E Surprisingly, Liverpool had to be eliminated by Fiorentina and Lyon, who managed to advance to the knockout stages. Group F the previous season's defending UEFA Champions League champions Barcelona progressed smoothly to the knockout stages with Italian champions Inter Milan. Group G Sevilla and Stuttgart managed to advance to the knockout rounds. Group H Arsenal and Olympiacos confirmed their place among the 16 best teams. The draw for the round of 16 was held on 18th of December 2009, conducted by UEFA Secretary General Gianni Infantino and UEFA Director of Competitions, Giorgio Marchetti. Starting this season, all round of 16 matches will be held over four weeks, not two weeks like the previous season's edition. The first legs were played on 16, 17, 23, and 24 of February, and the second legs were played on 9, 10, 16, and 17 March 2010. Stuttgart succumbs to masterful Messi. Lionel Messi scored two and set up another, as the holders progressed after inflicting a record-equaling European defeat on Stuttgart. Bordeaux survived a major scare to reach the quarter-finals of Europe's elite club competition for the first time in 22 years after a hard-fought victory against an Olympiacos team that finished with nine men. Jose Mourinho enjoyed a happy return to Stamford Bridge as Samuel Itoo's late goal confirmed the visitors' place in the last eight. Bayern Munich are through to the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League for the second year in a row after Arjen Robben's stunning effort secured an away goals win against Fiorentina. CSKA Moskva made club history and denied Sevilla their first taste of the UEFA Champions League quarterfinals as goals from Tomas Nesid and Keisuke Honda rewarded a terrific performance in Spain. Olympique Lyonnais scuppered Real Madrid's dream of reaching the UEFA Champions League final at their Santiago Bernabeu home, Miralem Pjanic's late strike taking the French side into the quarterfinals. A Nicholas Bentner hat-trick propelled a dominant Arsenal side into the UEFA Champions League quarter-finals as they overwhelmed Porto in North London. Leading 3-2 after the first leg, Manchester United marched into the last eight of the UEFA Champions League emphatically with a 4-0 victory against AC Milan.
The draw for the quarterfinals took place in Neon, Switzerland, on 19th of March 2010. The first legs were played on 30 and 31 March 2010, and the second legs were played on 6 and 7 April 2010. Leading 3-1 from the first leg, Olympique Lyonnais withstood a barrage of pressure to clinch a gritty aggregate win against Bordeaux and book their place in the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League for the first time. Bayern Munich fought back from three goals down on the leg two to oust Manchester United from the UEFA Champions League on away goals. Unexpectedly behind in the tie and with the expectations of the Camp Nou faithful resting on their shoulders, even European heavyweights FC Barcelona needed a savior. Four Lionel Messi goals later, Arsenal did not know what had hit them. Messi is like a PlayStation player. He can punish any mistake and make a difference at any moment. Arsene Wenger In audio. Wesley Snyder's early free kick was the key to Internazionale Milano ending their seven-year wait to return to the UEFA Champions League semi-finals. The draw for the semi-finals takes place immediately after the draw for the quarter-finals. The first legs were played on 20 and 24 April 2010, with the second legs on 27 and 28 April 2010. Already leading thanks to Arjun Robbins' solitary first leg goal, a stunning hat-trick from Ivica Olic capped a majestic performance from Bayern Munich, who impressively brushed aside 10-man Olympique Lyonnais to book their place in the UEFA Champions League final. Barcelona was dethroned by resilient Inter. An immense display of intelligent defending and sheer determination took Internazionale Milano into the European Champion Club's Cup Final for the first time since 1972, ending Barcelona's hopes of becoming the first team to defend the UEFA Champions League. The 2010 UEFA Champions League final was the fourth to be held at the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium in Madrid, Spain, after finals in 1957, 1969, and 1980. It was also the first to be held on a Saturday. Both sides came into the final having won domestic doubles, and it was Bayern who initially looked the more likely to force a breakthrough. Inter have shown their clinical side throughout this season's UEFA Champions League, however, and demonstrated it again in the 35th minute as Milito outstripped the Bayern defense to score. Though the German side continued to dominate territory and possession, there was no way back when Milito again broke through with 20 minutes left to secure Inter's first European Champion Club's Cup victory since their consecutive triumphs of 1964 and 1965, and with it a special treble, a feat that has never been achieved by any team in Italy. The following is Inter Milan's formation on the night of the final. Goalkeeper, Julio Cesar Suarez de Espindola. Center back, Lucimar da Silva Ferreira. Center back, Walter Adrian Samuel Luján. Left back, Christian Eugen Chivu. Right back, Maicon Douglas Cicinando. Defensive midfield, Javier Adelmar Zanetti. Defensive midfield, Esteban Matias Cambiaso. 
Attacking midfield. Wesley Snyder. Right winger. Samuel Eto'o Fils. Left winger. Goran Pandev. Center forward. Diego Alberto Milito. Coach. José Mário dos Santos. Mourinho Félix. Substitutions. Francesco Taldo. Ivan Ramiro Cordova. Marco Materazzi. Dejan Stankovic. Suleiman Ali Muntari. McDonald Mariga Wanyama. Tiago Mota Santon Olivares. Mario Barua Balotelli. And this is a list of the top scorers and top assists in the 2009-2010 Champions League season.